Good evening, everyone. School will be back in session this fall on the former Cass College campus. News Channel Line's Ashley Cafaro explains how state police are breathing new life into this campus and the community. It's called home for two centuries. Starting August 1st, the former Casanova College campus will no longer look like a ghost town. The uh, state police will be leasing uh, the bulk of, of the campus for the next two years for an auxiliary training uh, program. The campus will still remain on the market all while troopers utilize buildings within the main quad and its athletic complex, a decision some neighbors don't agree with. It's really difficult for me, though, to sort of reconcile the sort of quaintness of this town, as I've come to, to know it, with sort of like police training. Nathan and his wife moved to Casanova from Seattle back in 2017 and have grown to love the village. I'm not a huge fan of the idea that we're, you know, sort of training people across the street from me to basically often do some things that don't feel all that great. Some neighbors tell me they would feel more comfortable with the campus being turned into apartments rather than a training facility for state police. Others don't seem to mind. Well, I suppose better than leaving it sitting there empty. The college president adds there are other benefits. Having the troopers here means that we won't have the campus uh, vacant for a period of time while uh, while the campus is for sale and while the community explores future uses of it, it means that we'll have an employer here in the community. Employing a number of current or former college employees on campus, filling 20 to 30 positions in maintenance, dining hall, and other positions. In Casanova, Ashley Gaffaro, News Channel 9. The college has a separate management company will be hiring for those services, including current and former CAS College employees. Now, more lease details are being worked out between the college and state police. First Academy class expected to start there in mid-October.